Hi all, welcome back to the BI Wizkid YouTube channel. So this afternoon we are looking at file server analysis. What's file server analysis I hear you ask? Well, recently I've been asked by a customer who's migrating from on-premise solutions to the cloud and one of the main reasons obviously is to reduce their cost, uh, and other security, access and control etc etc. Now this customer has a number of different servers on a number of different locations and what they said to me was look we have got so much data on this server we don't know if it's being used, we don't know what's there we need some analysis around it and we need to, to, to look at it before we migrate and I thought hmm that's interesting okay so what I thought was I'll put some PowerShell code together and uh, if you don't know PowerShell don't worry neither do I uh, but now I do <laughs> and I've uh, put a script together and this just paves a way you know for a whole heap of other stuff as well so anyway here's the script so this is a script that I put together so all this does is looks at a server so you put in your server name there you look in the path to scan so let's say we want to scan the C drive and we want to scan the D drive of that server we give it a reference which will appear on our export we give it a path to output it to, uh, we set some parameters for the file name etc and then we do a scan of, of that particular path. Now here all this does is use uSQL code here to go through and pick out the uh, components of these uh, files and you'll see that it pulls out the full name, the last write date, the creation date, the last access date um, It'll pull out the length of the files, I think that'll come out in bytes. And if you look here, we've rewritten the date format here. Now the reason for that is because you might have some servers that are in different date formats, US date formats, UK date formats, etc. And when you put them all together, you'll get errors, etc. And we want to sort of avoid that. So put it all in a standard format. And so when it gets uh, exported, it's all in the same form for us to, to report from. Okay, so what we're trying to do here is we're trying to turn before migrating, for example, a 200 gigabyte file server, a terabyte file server, 500 gigabyte file server, you want to check that what files are on there, when they were created and when they were last used and, and, and exactly how big they are. So we can then take that data and import it into Power BI. So I'm not going to run this script now because I've run it already and what that does is create a number of files that I've put down here. Yep. So server 1, server 2, server 3. Okay, and an example of those, that information or that data that it grabs is here. So it gets a full name, so it's a full path there. Uh, last when it was last written to, the creation time, when it was last accessed, the length as I mentioned in bytes. Uh, the extensions, so whether it's a, a PPTX, an Excel file, a text file, etc. The server ID, the CSV name, the day at which it was run, um, and then a couple of other uh, columns which we won't really need. But we've got enough information here to really do some some good analysis on. Okay, so from there we take it straight into Power BI, and this is our query editor here. So, what I've done is, what you should really do here is get uh, folders. So you go to a folder, you import data from a folder. And the reason for that is you can continually put files into this folder then. So the temp folder that we've created already for the exports to go to. The well, As soon as you refresh Power BI, if you've already selected a folder, it will pick up all the files in there and refresh it and bring all that data through without having to obviously, you know, do anything about it. Now, for this for this one, I've just picked them up one by one. This is why you can see the, the separate um, files here, and I've just used the append query button here just to put them together. But essentially, it does the same thing. Right, okay, so what I've done here is gone through the columns, I've, I've made sure the dates are dates, I've made sure the, the bytes are in a, in a decimal format, etc. Um, I've also added a few additional um, columns as well, so what I've done is I've added an MB as well, so I've, I've divided um, 
uh, let's see what I've done here. So I've taken the bytes, I've divided that by that much to get that megabytes, then I've taken the megabytes, and then I've made a gigabytes column out of that one. Uh, then I've done a kilobytes one as well, which I'll show you why I've done that later on. And then I've also inserted uh, an age as well. Now the age, uh, what you can do is, let's say for example, the last creation time, if I uh, hover over, if I highlight this date time field over here, click on this date and then click on age, what that will give me is a number of days from that last access time to the local time now. And that gives me the, the age, basically a date diff function uh, in days of when it was last accessed. Okay, and I've done that for the write and the creation as well, so we can do some analysis on that. Okay, so I've imported that, and if we go over to my Power BI report, and this is an overview of that. So let's take you through it. So on these three servers, so we've got server 1, server 2, server 3, uh, how many gigabytes we've got stored on there at the moment, how many files we've got on there, when the files are last edited, so the number of files that we can see, there's a lot of files that were edited over, last edited over two years ago, a number that were edited over five years ago, we can see the type of extensions, we can see PPTX at the taking up the most sort of space on, on all of these servers. You can see zip files are taking up 215 gigabytes. You can see PDFs are taking 122 gigabytes. MP4 taking up 109 megabytes. And here, these are the file sizes. So when you do a, a search in, um, let's say for example, we do a search over here. Where's the search gone? Where's the search gone? No, there's a search. Huh. So if you do a search and we click on this size here, we can see we've got the tiny, small, medium, large, huge, gigantic, etc., etc. So what I've done is basically created a custom column that uses that data. So if you look at the file size here in a second, expand this up here, we can see if, it's, if the KB is less than 100, then it's small. If the KB is greater than 100 and the megabytes less than 1 is medium, etc. And if it's over 128, then we put it as gigantic. Okay. So they're the file sizes that we've got here. And you can see, even though there's only 1,377 gigantic files, obviously the, the total of it is quite high in gigabytes. Okay. And what we can do is obviously we can filter that down, look at server 3, look at them individually. And then server 3 belongs to a certain person, a certain uh, IT team. We can send these over to them and say, look, we've got so many files over uh, five years old that you're not even touching. Can you have a look at them? Can you get rid of them? Because we need to do some migrations. And you also notice this icon list at the top. I've just put that in for a bit of, you can use this to filter down as well. So if you can see it's in the order of size as well. So if you filter that down, we can see that we've got zip files here. And these are all zip files over here. If you untake that, there you can see we've got a blank 596 PPTX. We haven't got an icon for that. But if we do click on the blanks, it'll show us all the extensions that haven't got a, or that I haven't managed to find a, an icon for. And you can see PDFs, MP4s, XLSX. Again, if I go down to the PDFs and I can see the PDFs, you can see that there's uh, 7.9 gigabytes that are gigantic and they were last edited over two years ago. Okay, and let's say for example, okay, I want to look at PDFs and I want to look at the ones that were edited over five years ago. I want to drill through to our breakdown report. And what that will do is pull through both the filters so it'll pull through the over five years. So if you're down here, you have a look, it's pull through the, the five years and it also pull through the, the PDF filter as well. And as you can see, it's pulled through all the PDF files and we can go through those one by one and have a look what is going on 
and what sort of files they are so we can go and deal with them okay so this is sort of analysis again as mentioned of a file server so this is prior to migration we want to handle all our files so that we know uh, we're not just migrating rubbish we're not migrating data files and taking up space in Azure in the cloud that we don't need to uh, if we still need to keep these files that are over five years old we can do we put them into cold storage which will be a lot cheaper um, uh, and what we're trying to do is say to the customer is like here look you've got so many files of certain types that you haven't touched for five years you know we can send them back to the server owners and say look here's your files this is how much space you're taking up and if you got shot of let's say just a third of these and you'll be saving a hell of a lot of money um, so that's the sort of analysis that we're trying to provide here and, and, and the sort of thing we're trying to do trying to save money for the customer it'll save time in performance uh, save time in uploading all these files and let's say for example we can save you know 690 uh, uh, gigabytes of data uh, we don't need to, to transfer, we don't need to migrate to Azure because it's all rubbish, we can just get rid of it, ignore it, send it up there, save money going forward and everyone's happy. Okay, so I'll put some of these files, I'll put some of the scripts on my links in my uh, video, uh, have a look, any questions, just get in touch and uh, thanks for watching, see you soon, bye.